Hey guys, welcome to the bonus reading for the week for the sign of Capricorn. Hope you guys are all having a good week so far. Sending you love and light always. As usual, this will be a general collective reading, so this will not resonate with everyone. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. But this could resonate with you. Um, if you have placements in Capricorn in your birth chart or you're dealing with somebody that does have Capricorn birth chart placement. Please take a moment to read through the description box. I would really appreciate it if you took a moment to do that before watching this reading. Okay, lots of valuable information in the description box. All right, Capricorn. What do my Capricorns need to know at this time, Spirit? A message for my Capricorns. I just heard something's coming back around. And it's going to require a leap of faith. Yeah, so what I'm seeing here, guys, is that there's some type of new beginning um, manifesting here. Um, it could be in, you know, a, a bunch of different areas of your life. It could be love. It could be career, um, something in your personal life. But what I'm seeing here is that, um, yeah, with this new beginning, it's a, it looks like there's a new stable beginning that's coming towards you or that's manifesting here. But it's going to require you a, to take a leap of faith to obtain this. All right. And what the what the divine is bringing back or back. Ooh. what's being brought back around is a situation where some something or someone you didn't get what you deserved in a situation or somebody didn't give you what you deserved it could also be somebody coming back around that ghosted you or they didn't see your worth in the past or they just didn't give they were not able to give you what you deserved um for some of you this has something to do with a career as well i'm seeing that maybe um something is coming i feel like you guys may be getting some type of financial blessing as well like you guys are reaping some type of good karma in the form of a financial blessing. That's for some of you. But yeah, I'm seeing here that there was a blockage to the situation. The per reason why this person could not give you what you deserved is because there was some type of third party here, guys. Could have been a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. Um, there was some type of blockage here and it was a person, okay? Um, it was some other entity that was blocking this blessing or this new oppor this opportunity from being able to work come into your life or to be able to work is what i'm getting here um somebody was holding back here out of fear is what i'm seeing somebody had fears and that's why somebody held back from you or didn't give to you the way that they were supposed to or invest in you they had fears of investing or committing here um but there's something here with the hanged man um somebody is looking at something through a different perspective now somebody's seeing something differently now um possible signs that i'm seeing here guys i see aquarius energy i see sagittarius and pisces energy um like i said fire energy here aries leo sagittarius i see pisces energy here twice well well no what did i say yeah no i yeah i do see pisces energy here twice with the moon and the hanged man but yeah, somebody is looking at something differently and now they're putting something to an end or there's a cycle closing out because somebody is looking at something differently or somebody had to take a break from this situation to be able to put an end to some another cycle in their life. All right, so let's get some clarifiers out here. 
What is um this Ace of Pentacles? What is this Ace of Pentacles that's coming in here? Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles. The ninth. So somebody wants to offer you stability. Somebody was not wanting to settle down before. Somebody was not interested in a commitment. But now they do want a commitment. They're not, they're no longer wanting to play the field or be unstable, be non-committal. They're wanting something stable and solid now. All right. So tell me about this five of pentacles. So that's maybe what this person refused to offer you in the past. Yeah. Did somebody wanted something committed? Somebody wanted something stable. Somebody maybe also maybe wanted to get married or engaged, start a family, and somebody didn't want that. That's what somebody didn't give you in the past. Um, so who's this queen of wands? Ooh, this queen of wands is a very cold person. This person's very mean, very nasty, very cutting with their words. So they're not very, emo they're not a very emotional person or they don't act out of emotion. Like they're very, they just have a coldness about them. What's this? Somebody was refusing to walk away from this person. And that was a blockage or set boundaries. Yeah, it could have been boundaries. But they have now. <laughs> they have walked away from that now. We have the Eight of Cups. So in the past, this person was refusing to... Um, I, f I feel like this person was also being manipulated by this other person to some degree. Or they were being... Um, controlled by that person to some degree in some type of way but they have freed themselves from that situation now with the nine of pentacles here but they were refusing to walk away from that person or set boundaries with that person there was a lot of conflict involving the situation about them not walking away from this third party um they probably have a lot of conflict with this third party um let's see here so what's the divine break what's this the wheel of fortune so we have the page of cups a new emotional beginning why is the page of pentacles in reverse though well i think it was supposed to let me try it again hmm why is the page of pentacles in reverse four of cups so somebody doesn't know if so somebody there's a new emotional beginning coming in here or that's trying to manifest or that the divine is bringing back around it could also be an apology yeah so what the divine is bringing in is the, an apology now, this could either give you closure or you're going to have the option to have a new emotional beginning with this person. But um, somebody here is afraid that this isn't going to stabilize or that you're not going to take their offer. Yeah, it's like they want something stable here, but they don't think that you're going to take their offer. They think they've missed an opportunity because they were taking too long to get some other situation in their life wrapped up. All right. Um, so what was being withheld here? The devil. So you guys be dealing with a Capricorn, the hanged man. So this person was holding back from you because they had some type of toxic way of thinking. The way that they were looking at things was toxic. They had a toxic mindset or a toxic way of looking at things. But I feel like that's not the truth anymore. Like they, they're looking at things differently because you have the hanged man. So what are they looking at it now? Like what is their perspective now? Hmm. Oops. We have the Ace of Swords in reverse. What about the Ace of Swords in reverse? The Five of... They're realizing that what they thought or the way that they were thinking wasn't the truth. And the reason why they were looking... It's like they weren't looking at the situation. They were not looking at the... How do I say that, guys? So they were not... Um, they weren't seeing the truth of the situation. They were looking at something through like some type of past conditioning because of something that they were dwelling on that did not work out for them in their past. They were feeling pessimistic because of something that they were still dwelling on from their past that didn't work out. But they're realizing that that's, that that's what was going on now. They're realizing that they were looking at something, the situation with you through their past conditioning and that that was not necessary for the situation with you. So now, um, this person wants to come out of no contact. This is somebody that's been taking a lot of time to think and contemplate. Because um, we have the four of swords in reverse on the back of the deck. This person wants to come out of no contact. They want to speak to you. But that's why this person, um, they just were not able to see things clearly. They didn't see the truth of the situation. They were seeing the situation through an illusion. So tell me more about the moon. Eight of wands. What you guys don't know is that there's communication coming in. Yeah, that this person's returning. 
this person does have fears of communicating and returning. They are scared. They have a little bit of anxiety about it. But what I feel like you guys don't know is that this person's coming back. You don't know that you're going to receive communication from this person. You don't know that this person, the situation does have the potential to be able to progress. I see that as well. But somebody from your past is returning here that you had an ending with, a breakup with, or that they even broke your heart. Yeah. That the situation didn't work out between the two of you in the past. But I feel like there's like another chance being brought in for a situation. But it was because this person was not seeing things clearly. Um, they weren't seeing things clearly enough to be able to take action or to pursue this. Even though they felt passionate about you, they just could still, they were still like just not looking at the truth of the situation. Um, but the divine's bringing the situation back around. And it does look like this person has finally released a burden. They finally released themselves from some other type of like something, somebody that was having a hold on them or some other connection that was keeping them from being able to see things clearly. That was causing a lot of conflict within them and in their life. And now they're bringing in the stability. You guys maybe even have a feeling that some situation has come to an end. Yeah, this could be somebody that they had children with. This kind of sounds like the, uh, a little bit like the, who did I do this reading for? It was the collective reading. I think it was the one that I did two days ago or was it yesterday? So let's just see if we can get some more information here about what's going on. Um, I am going to extend this reading. I want to take a look to see more of what's going on with this third party to see if it's for sure wrapped up and done and what they have done, what action they have taken to, you know, put an end to that situation. I also want to take a look to see what this person's intentions are for you um, and what the future is looking like for this situation. So if you're interested in that, the link will be in the description box. Um, so let's see. Tell me more about this situation, Spirit. Tell me more about this situation. All right. For my Capricorn, tell me more about this situation. I missed out. Yeah, this person, I told you, this person feels like they missed an opportunity. They feel like they missed out on their person, their, their you know, their chance at true love. Yeah. They don't feel the same. They, I feel like this person doesn't think that you feel the same way, feel that way about them anymore. Like they, I feel like they're coming back to try to have this emotional beginning, this new emotional beginning with you. But this person just thinks that maybe you don't feel that way about them anymore. I was not good enough for you. So yeah, this person had insecurities. They felt like they maybe were in a relationship in the past that like really took hits to their self-worth and their self-esteem. They didn't think that they were worthy of you. Yeah, this person's feeling depressed because they feel like they've missed an opportunity and they feel like you don't love them anymore. You don't care about them. But it's like they view you. They think you guys could be a power couple or they're realizing now that you guys could have been a power couple and they may miss have missed out on that now. All right. So I am going to take this over to the extended reading, guys. If you're interested in that, um, look at this. Show affection. So this person's wanting to come in and show this. Could have Look at this. This person was high, wearing a mask, guys. This person probably never told you they loved you or that they cared about you or showed you emotion but they really did they had it for you but they just they were holding back from you i see that so now this person is coming in and they're going to be probably love bombing you when they come back if they because i do see communication coming in um spirit says you have nothing to be worried about though all right but i feel like this person said they took the easy way out so for some reason they thought that that situation with that toxic person or that toxic other toxic situation that they were involved in was probably their comfort zone whether you believe me or not, people get comfortable in toxicity, guys, and they get you can become addicted to toxicity. So for some reason, it was easier for them to stay in that situation than to try to initiate this new relationship with you in the past for whatever reason. May not make sense, guys, but that's just what I'm seeing here. But now this person, I feel like they're very depressed because they're they're real. They're seeing everything very clear now. All right. So I'm going to take this over to the extended reading. Um, like I said, link will be in the description box. Um, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you could take something from this reading. Um, personal readings are open, but I have very limited availability, so keep that in mind. Um, and don't forget to like and follow me on Instagram and Facebook because I'm going to try to get back into posting um, daily collective readings soon. So I hope you guys have a good rest of your week or day, and I'll see you guys over in the extended reading. Bye.